That's right. It's group scoop time, everybody. Joining us this morning is Brittany Hoffman. Good morning, Brittany. Good morning, Good morning. ladies. And 98. Seven, the Peaks Entertainment Diva, Danielle Williams. I'm here. We Hi. missed you last week. Oh, I know. Yeah. You guys look like you correlated your outfit, both in that teal yeah. color. Very, Very cute. Very nice. We're so matching. <laughs> okay, let's get started. I mean, Whitney Houston, her Aww. unfortunate death and just the whole situation is, is so sad. Her it body, is. she's back in New Jersey now. Right. Mm -hmm. Flew back on Tyler, Tyler Perry's plane. Yeah. Yes. Um, I understand that the funeral will be... Invitation only will not be open to yeah, the public friends, like Michael Jackson's. Family, yeah, yes. be close to fans. And rumor has it Bobby Brown Maine is not invited. Yeah, they said that they're kind of locking him out, which is really sad because Absolutely. he was married to her for 15 years. And even though they, they had daughter. a tumultuous relationship, they there had was a relationship. Love there right? there yeah, was. Love in there the beginning, there was love. And I'm sure still in his heart, he still loves her. And he's mourning the death of his ex wife, someone he had a child with, someone he was very public with. And, you know, it's a very sad time. And at least, you know, let him in the room, even if he's sitting in the back. You've got to mm -hmm. acknowledge right. that he had a part in her life. And he does have a daughter who's there that I'm yeah. sure he would like to console as well. Mm -hmm. You know, he may not have been with her at the time of Whitney's death, but since then, they have seen each other, yeah. they've spent time together. And so I think it's, you know, yeah. kind of a shame that. And clearly, this just wasn't a Bobby Brown issue in their no. relationship. Yeah. This has come up that she was mm -hmm. addicted to mm -hmm. most likely painkill, right. pain pills, mm -hmm. alcohol, mm -hmm. whoever, knows, what else. But this wasn't just one sided. You know, no. She had an issue yeah. as well. So she did. And she had, had a lot of um, help. There were people in the industry who had reached out to her. There were therapists who had said, you know what, we'll even do this private. We'll even pay for the sessions. We just want to see Whitney back to what Whitney mm -hmm. was before. You know, because everybody has that image of how she was when she first started. Yeah. Amazing voice, solid talent, just an all around likable person. Right. Everybody loved yeah. Whitney Houston. And then she just started, but she made those choices to go that route. Once she saw how Bobby Brown was, there was something there. Obviously, he was giving her something that she was lacking in her life and he and was the bad boy it. she yeah. was like the whole minister's daughter mm -hmm. type of thing but she and he's knew the right bad from boy. wrong and she right. made these decisions and she just couldn't pull herself out but she did have people in her corner rooting for her to do better i feel sure. so sorry for her daughter bobby christina yeah. i mean two two breakdowns now and the yeah. rumor has it that sometimes she's partied right alongside with her mother which yeah. that, that really yes. bothers me That's i hope yeah. i hope that that is not the case. Yeah, yeah it's you know. very sad. So moving on to the Grammys. Okay, so it was the 54th annual Grammy. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was wonderful. I thought it was one of the best I have yeah. ever seen. And Adele, I mean, she, she Cleaned sweeps. Cleaned house. Yes, she did. Fabulous. And yes. she I looked so good. She yeah, she looked I mean, so pretty. I mean, she was pretty. like so excited. She was uh -huh. crying and she had stuff coming out of her nose. And <laughs> yeah. she just acknowledged And she had to dress it. She yeah. was yeah. in the moment, for real. But she deserved it. She worked really hard. And she's a voice that we don't hear mm. very often. And she owned it. And like she said, if she didn't have the incredible people around her helping to write the songs that captured the emotion in her voice, she wouldn't have been able to sing them as well as she did. And yeah. she was living in her moment. So yeah. props to her. She did a really good job. She, she looked good. And yeah. I thought I thought it was great sportsmanship by Lady Gaga to sit there and accept the fact that mm -hmm. she was getting beat out time yeah. after time after time. Yeah, good point. And so I thought it was great, especially in Gaga fashion. I thought you were kind of expecting something <laughs> yeah. a little outrageous, yeah, and she didn't. She took, you know, she took it like a true champ. But along the lines of, you know, a great show. I thought it was so well rounded. Mm -hmm. You know, giving, you know, Etta James her own, you know, song and moving forward and you know showing us the old greats and the new people who are right, up and coming. Right, right, right. Exactly. And Jennifer Hudson's beautiful tribute to yeah. Whitney Houston. People I, were saying they didn't like it. I'm Sure. Really? I loved it. Oh, I loved I thought it. She nailed it. It was a hard thing to yeah. do. It was oh. emotions, you yeah, know? Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I know. Okay, Idol versus The Voice. I mean, the war is on. I know. And the rumors out there that The Voice is actually beating Idol in some of the numbers here. Yeah. You know, I like both of the shows, but I think The Voice... This, now that it's the second time around, it's a little bit better. I think the judges have really, you know, come into their own. They're not like just rushing through the show. It feels like there's a little bit more quality there, yeah. and they have more to say. And it just seems like it's a solid presentation. I like it so much better this season than I did the first. The season. chemistry. Well, mm -hmm. I think it's great that you know Idol's been here for you know 12 seasons mm -hmm. now. Out with the old, in with the new. Mm -hmm. I think The Voice is the new and updated version of the singing competition that we wanted. And here it is, you know, taking over, you know, in the ratings, definitely. I think they've got, you know, hipper people, you know, yeah. being the judges. So I think that's a big push as to why The Voice is better. Yeah. Mm. Although I don't watch it because it competes with The Bachelor. I know. So like, uh, the Bachelor's the bachelor. I know. I know. Okay, no. so moving on to The Bachelor. Okay, so rumor has it that Ben is keeping Courtney and she's walking around with a ring. So... 
Where are uh, we at with this? Fill me in. The Bachelor. I just can't get into it. <laughs> well, is it just because I'm it's Ben? Do you just not like Ben? I don't like him. I don't like him, and I'm kind of over that show. It's done. Really? Yes. Oh. I, just, I think it's amazing that he continues to be fooled by her. I mean, he gets so much attention from her, and I think that's what he loves. But in this past episode, she said, you know, I can't commit to you if you're not showing me that I'm more worthy of your affection than these other women. Mm. That's she what the whole is a competitor at heart. Mm. She yes. will hurt every other woman in the room. Right. She's not a girl's girl. Mm -mm. None of us want to be friends with Courtney. Mm -mm. Right. Yeah. Will, right? That's Courtney. <laughs> Out for number one. Okay, well, talk about, you know, number one, Joan Rivers. I mean, to keep up to date. I know. She has had, from what she has said, 739 plastic surgeries. I mean, who that's has? So 739. I, I mean, that's again, so I hope that that's not true. I mean, I know she's had a lot that? of work. And she's not shy about saying that she's had the work. Right. But I don't know. That's a little bit much. It's kind of scary, too, when you think about it. I think she looks great. I mean, I'm just going to say it. She looks I mean, great. How old is she? I love her personality. I don't know how old she is oh, because no. you can't tell. Right. She could be it's older like... than Betty White, for all we know. <laughs> See, does her face move at all anymore? Not or? really. But would no. you... Would you lie about that number? Would you, in, yes, you know, I would inflate lie. Yeah. it? No, would I would you, lie. See, but oh, would yeah. you inflate it? So, yeah. so clearly, maybe, it maybe it's yeah. more maybe it's than that. Because that's not a number you're going to inflate. Well, and I guess that she's feuding with uh, Chelsea Handler. And what's going on there? I know that the two of them have well, kind of gone and back and forth. I know that forth. show, The Fashion Police, she mm -hmm. talks a lot about Chelsea Handler not being a lady, can't dress well. She's always blah, blah, blah. But she kind of trashes her on the show. But as far as, you know, a physical feud, I haven't seen yeah. that. But mm. I haven't seen her on Chelsea's show. And mm. she hasn't been vice versa. So. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Well, hey, I think we're running out of time here. Thank you so much for yeah, joining thank us. thank you guys. We always appreciate fun. it. You know, we always have so much to talk about we when do. it comes to group scoop here. <laughs> so, and thank you for joining us. We'll be right back after this.